And what is agentic AI? Are they the same thing? Can you see my eye twitching? <laughs> at, at this point, like, I, I give up because nobody knows. <laughs> I, and give us the Elon Musk uh, definition. The reality is that like, everybody disagrees about what AI 100%. is, what is AGI, what is an agent, what is agentic AI. I think it was Carpathy or someone, someone like very well known who's like, stop calling your LLM based workflow an agent. And I'm like, okay. So now we've got LLM workflows. And really, like you, we're trying to discretize a continuous scale, right? Mm -hmm. Where you like start with the LLM, forget everything else, like, like machine. Let's let's pack machine learning and everything else under the hood and forget if it exists, just because otherwise we've got too much to talk about, right? You start with the LLM. LLM gives answers about questions. Blah, blah, blah. Predicts the next token. Then you're like, oh, okay, this is cool. I can get my LLM to generate instructions. Ooh. Interesting. How do I use those instructions, right? And so then you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to use my LLM to power new features in my product. Let's say the, do you use Miro or Canva? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so like, or like, let's say PowerPoint, right? And you say like, the way that you describe a slide under the hood in PowerPoint is a very long markup. Call it, let's call it like some XML. I don't actually know on the hood, but it's like, so let's, say, let's say it's XML, right? And then LLM can generate XML. So then you're like, I want a slide that does this, and you get it to generate the XML. So then you have these like LLM powered features, which feel beyond what LLMs do, mm -hmm. but it's actually still an LLM. And then you're like, okay, well, maybe I can give it tools that it can call, right? So like now the LLM can issue a command to, I don't know, to my manufacturing facility to start 3D printing widgets. Let's leave it vague, right? So now you have like an LLM involved in some form of control system. And that's pr pretty much what people talk about as agentic AI. So like you have, you go beyond the workflow, which is I'll describe what I want and I get some structured output that I then use somewhere else. And like tool calling is what people call agentic AI, right? So like I describe what I want and then the AI can go and like, oh, okay, I know you need this thing, maybe you need that thing. It makes a couple of like quote unquote decisions on the, uh, on the way. And then you have AI agents, which are supposed to be fully autonomous, right? So the best example, I think we spoke about it two episodes ago that I have is Devin in software mm -hmm. development, yep. which is a thing that connects to your Slack, Jira, all other sorts of platforms that you can talk to it and you're just like, hey dude, I need to change my code to do this, right? And it goes and plans and Devin does 